just talking about the tribulation. There's gonna be a horrible period of time. And at the end of that horrible, horrible period of time, God is gonna save the remaining nation of Israel. Only one third will survive. Technology is evolving, and in the evolving world, it has great potential for spreading the gospel, which is wonderful. However, there are concerns about control and privacy. When they are lacking, they become harmful. Recently, in a video featuring Jimmy Evans and Perry Stone, they discuss how modern technology can relate to biblical prophecies, especially those in the book of Revelation. So let's talk about the mark of the beast and its connection to technology, as well as its impact in this video. Jimmy Evans and Perry Stone talk about the technological system associated with the Antichrist and the mark of the beast mentioned in Revelation chapter 13 verse 17, which says people won't be able to buy or sell without it. It seems like technology is moving in that direction in various ways today, including stories of people implanting chips in their hands. One such event is addressed when a girl implants the RFID chip in her hand. A girl implanted an RFID chip in her hand. In a world where technology continues to evolve, individuals with implanted chips are gaining attention. One such individual is Burgundy Waller from Las Vegas, Nevada, who boasts over 3 million social media followers. She garnered this following by showcasing the capabilities of the chip implanted in her palm by her husband. And it was all in her quest to simplify her life and eliminate the hassle of searching for keys. This RFID body accessory allows her to unlock doors and cabinets with a mere wave of her hand, a feat that has captivated audiences. Dubbed Chip Girl by her TikTok followers, she now offers a glimpse into her daily life with this innovative addition. When asked about the genesis of this decision, Chip Girl explained that she was persuaded by her techie husband. In her first viral TikTok video, which garnered over 9 million views, she showcased her bandaged hand post-implantation and demonstrated its functionality. The chip was precisely implanted between her thumb and index finger, requiring her to scan that area for a successful operation. Chip Girl also disclosed details about the implantation process, displaying the kit she used, including medical band-aids, sterile gloves, swabs, and the injector. This injector, she explained, is used to create a small incision for the chip to be inserted into her hand. She even demonstrated the insertion process by pushing the injector down, causing the slender chip to emerge and be placed within her hand. In an unexpected twist, Chip Girl concluded by stating, I would never do it again, leaving some room for skepticism. Since its posting, the video has garnered over 1.4 million views and nearly 90,000 likes, with mixed reactions from viewers. While some viewers were unimpressed by the tech accessory, labeling it as unnecessary, others saw the convenience of contactless keys. A supporter praised the concept, noting how convenient it would be. Another defended Chip Girl's choice by comparing it to microchipping pets for safety. In the midst of differing opinions, one person admitted, I weirdly love this. Privacy and security debate. Moreover, while implanted chips offer undeniable convenience, experts raise concerns about their privacy and security implications. The technology enables payments at various stores, but also raises questions about data security and personal privacy. As the usage of these embedded chips continues to expand, there is an ongoing debate about the trade-offs between convenience and potential risks. In the context of biblical prophecies, the increasing adoption of such technology is a significant development. It aligns with the idea that these advancements could potentially lead to a centralized control system, a concept consistent with certain passages in the Bible. Let's understand what the Bible says about RFID chips. This hype around the chip implantation phenomenon raises questions about what the Bible has to say about such trends. The revelation suggests that hype often leads to hasty decisions and immediate regrets, whereas faith in God's guidance brings inner peace. However, today's social media trends frequently spread false information, misleading people into believing in falsehoods. This aligns with concerns about how the Antichrist's ultimate goal is to deceive the masses with his false claims. Regarding technology's role in fulfilling end-time prophecies, it's evident that several countries, including China and America, are introducing payment methods involving hand or face recognition. Companies like Elon Musk's Neuralink are working on brain chip implants for various tasks. 
These developments hint at a form of control being established by governments worldwide. This alignment with the Bible's prophecy suggests that the Antichrist will exert complete control over global monetary systems and governments for a specific period. This technological path appears to be paving the way for the fulfillment of these prophetic warnings, highlighting the need for vigilance and discernment among believers in God. Connecting again with the experts' privacy and security debate, critics argue that it carries a dark side with the potential for exploitation, particularly for those who seek to curb individual freedoms. This technology opens up tempting avenues for control, manipulation, and oppression, driven by the growing reliance on technology and the ability of others to access and manipulate information stored within these chips. The outcome, they argue, may not align with the optimistic expectations held by many. Instead, it may herald a new form of servitude, rather than the independence it purports to offer. Worldwide Expansion of Tech Systems The global expansion of these technology systems is exemplified by Amazon's introduction of palm-scanning payment technology in its Whole Foods locations. Shoppers can complete transactions using only the palm of their hand, linked to a digital account, or serving as a unique identifier like a password or PIN. The sheer convenience of such systems raises eyebrows, prompting us to contemplate the ramifications of these advancements. The rapid shift toward contactless interactions and heightened control mechanisms becomes increasingly evident. Biblical Prophecies and Current Developments but again, it's impossible to ignore the striking alignment between these technological advancements and the warnings found in the Bible, particularly in the book of Revelation. As we witness these developments unfolding before our eyes, it becomes apparent that they are intricately connected to the prophesied events leading up to the end of times. The book of Revelation sheds light on the mark of the beast, a concept that looms large in discussions of implanted chips and their potential implications. The Prophetic Mark of the Beast The book of Revelation, specifically in Revelation chapter 13 verses 16 to 18, vividly describes the prophesied mark of the beast. It states, Also it causes all small and great, both rich and poor, both free and slave, to be marked on the right hand or on the forehead, so that no one can buy or sell unless he has the mark that is the name of the beast or the number of its name. This passage describes that a significant portion of humanity, spanning all social strata, will be marked, rendering them unable to participate in economic transactions without it. The dire implications of not having this mark extend beyond simple financial transactions. It signifies a form of control that goes well beyond mere currency. The mark's placement and control the specificity of the mark's placement on the forehead or right hand has led biblical theorists to draw parallels with current RFID chip technology. Indeed, RFID chips are currently the only technology that can be implanted within the body, raising concerns about their potential connection to the prophesied mark. This interpretation emphasizes the element of control, a recurring theme in biblical prophecy. The Antichrist, who seeks authority over people, can manipulate and rule over them by requiring this mark. RFID chips, capable of monitoring and accessing personal information, could be harnessed by the beast to exert control over individuals. The alignment between biblical prophecies and contemporary technology raises unsettling questions about the future. Understanding and Preparation in the face of these developments, seeking understanding and preparing accordingly is essential. 1 Corinthians chapter 14 verse 33 reminds us, God is not the author of confusion, but of peace. God's revelations, including those found in the book of Revelation, are meant to provide clarity and insight to his followers. While witnessing the fulfillment of biblical prophecies may be disconcerting, it is not a reason to fear if one has faith in God. Moreover, Revelation chapter 1 verse 1 underscores this by emphasizing that God reveals these prophecies to his servants so they may be prepared for what is to come. Being prepared entails spiritual readiness, faith in God's plan, and trust in his ultimate sovereignty. Believers are called to fear God, who is just and true, rather than those who may falsely claim God-like authority. What do you think of the RFID chip's connection with the mark of the beast? Comment below and subscribe for more.